Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the toy table for another action figure review video. In today's video, I'm starting the Black Widow wave. Black Widow wave. First and foremost, like I said previously in a video, I have not bought a complete wave in a long, long time. It's typically like most of us, we either buy the wave or we buy the figures that we enjoy out of the wave. Me personally, the build a figure was amazing, the uh, Crimson Dynamo, but the figures themselves are really, really cool. So I decided, hey, let's do a unboxing and a review video series on this wave. Um, but before we get started, if this is your first time on my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure you got notifications turned on. And if you're already a subscriber of my channel, make sure you got notifications turned on. But yeah, so I wanted to, um, I really wanted to showcase the figures. Um, there's some uniquenesses, uh, with each one of them. I have issues with, uh, I have some issues, but not a lot. But anyway, let's get started. So the first of this series is Black Widow and y Yolanda right here. I figured, hey, let's start out. Let's get the first two going, right? Uh, first and foremost, the boxes on all of them, I think, are actually a really good job. Uh, as you can see with the Black Widow, they all have the same coloring. They all have the same type of art. It's just the characters is different on each one. So a lot with Black Widow, we have that. Yelena, we have that. Uh, but overall, I really do like the box presentations on this wave. Um, a lot of the little nuances. I love the way they did the actual uh, back art on this wave. It's neat. It's a. It just looks good. I dig it. But uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time on the boxes. We're going to get these things opened up, and we're going to check them out. So uh, I'll tell you what, let me get them opened up. Let me switch the camera angle, and we'll get started. All right, so Black Widow. This one, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Black Widow ever since Iron Man 2. Uh, I've really enjoyed the Black Widow character. Not so much when she went blonde-headed, but hey, you can't be... Uh, can't be too picky, right? But the actual figure itself is, it's a, it's a great looking figure. The amount of detail and stuff that's actually in the uniform looks really, really good. I mean, there's, there's a lot of good in this figure overall. The head sculpt, which is not terrible, it looks good. It's, it's not a bad head sculpt at all. I'm actually uh, pretty surprised with it. Um, I did notice there's not a lot of head articulation, and that's due to this right here. It does not come back at all. I mean, there's very, very, as you can see, any articulation in the head. Even side to side, it's really locked into place, which I find that a little, a little bit on the, uh, but I get it because of the actual way the uniform's designed, the way the hair is done, that's just the way it is. But the hair itself looks really, really good. It's very detailed. Uh, Articulation-wise, I'm assuming we're going to have some good or decent articulation. This shoulder joint here is a little stiff, so I may have to heat that one up. So as you can see, that one is not wanting to move at all. So I will have to put some heat to that one. That's part of the game, right, with our figures. Uh, as far as a torso, there's no torso, but we have or a waist pivot, but there's actually a torso pivot, which is good. Uh, Articulation-wise, and the torso is not bad. It actually goes back pretty good. Forward, not terrible. Let's see here. Uh, I was really curious, so uh, let me pull these arms back a little bit. I was really curious about the holstering uh, when I actually uh, was looking at another figure of mine, the uh, Knight of Ren figure. 
the holster was actually attached at the thigh, which limited. Uh, I do like the fact this is a free moving belt. And as you notice, the holster itself is actually not attached at the thigh, which is a very nice touch. Uh, they should have done that with uh, other figures. So it does give you a lot of uh, range of motion in the hips. Uh, we do have a thigh rotation, but as you can see, uh, that's a good bit of articulation in the actual figure itself. Uh, I do hate the fact that this shoulder is so stiff, but hey, it is what it is. Elbow wise, again, she is stiff in the elbows. Wow, very stiff. So be very, very careful. Uh, there we go. So that's about it as far as the elbow goes, which is not bad. I can live with that. I can live with that at all. Uh, as far as knees, that looks like they're double jointed, which they are. So there you go on the knees. Good job. The only thing so far that I'm seeing that, um, let me check the uh, ankles real quick. The ankles appear to be pretty, ah, they're, they're either really, really stiff or there it goes. Be careful with these joints. They are stiff on this, on my particular figure. But we do have some really good uh, articulation on the ankle, as you can see, wow. <laughs> Back, that's about it. Uh, with this figure here, it uh, does not come, it, it actually comes with uh, not a tremendous amount of accessories, but enough accessories for the character itself. Uh, as you can see here, it comes with a pair of her signature pistols right there, which the pistols themselves, actually go into the holsters. I'm really curious. Uh, they actually go in pretty good. So yeah, right there, go in good on that side. Let's go ahead and put this one in its holster. We'll get a, before I do that, again, one of my biggest uh, complaints when it comes to uh, weaponry is the fact that it's, you know, it's all black, which I, I get it. You can have some all black pistols, but when you have a dark gray and a black figure, the pistols sort of get lost in translation. Uh, if you look at it right here, it's just continuous black. It'd be nice if the grips, and I might come back and do something with the grips just to give it a little bit of an accent color to break this up. But the pistols fit in really, really good. So as you can see, they holster in good. It looks good. Uh, so far, the only complaint, if I have one, is compared to the hard armor pieces up here they're they're sort of semi-glossy so but when you come down to the boots they're glossy glossy so me personally i wish this would have matched a little bit better and, and that's particularly just on my figure the other set of weapons she gets is her batons right here so as you can see you've got a pair of batons which this is really really cool again they're just all black so it's really hard to pick up any kind of uh, details or anything with uh, all black items. But as you can see, they actually uh, go in her hands really, really good. So you can come up once you get the, <laughs> once you get, if yours, is, if yours is like mine, once you get the joints uh, loosened up, you can come up with some really good poses with her as far as that goes. The figure itself comes with an extra pair of hands. Uh, these are just fisted hands right here, which, uh, you know, you gotta have some fisted hands. And as far as the Build-A-Figure piece, it looks like we have the uh, left leg with it. And the detail on the, the Build-A-Figure, I think is gonna be just amazing. Uh, and that's gonna be later on in this video series. But as you can see, it's highly detailed as well. So, uh, yeah, that's it for uh, Black Widow right there. One more time. Good looking figure. Uniform looks great as I drop her. Coloring looks good. Again, my only complaint is the gloss on the boots. I wish it had been toned down a little bit more to match the shoulders. But other than that, there's Black Widow. Looking good. It's a good looking figure. Good job, Hasbro. I like it, I dig it, and I'm glad I got it in my collection. So uh, now let's uh, let's grab Yelena and check her out. All right, Yelena Belf Belova. 
let me move this out of the way. Um, I think that's how you say the name. I do not know a lot about this character, so apologies for that. But I will say this, this character actually looks really, really good. I did have concerns with the all white, but as you can see, it looks really, really good. The detail in the white sections, elbow pads, shoulders, if we move on down to the legs, the uh, knee pads, the wrinkling in the pants, uh, buckles on the boots, everything looks really, really good. It was not lost in translation. Um, I do have one little snippet of a uh, why is this right here. <laughs> I truly, um, that's interesting to actually have a, a something there. So I don't know what that is, but it's weird. Uh, but anyway, uh, as far as the upper uh, vest area, the blacks and the greens, a little bit of the grays looks really, really good. Lots of detail. The buckling looks great. And even the belt buckle has a really good little design on it right there. Uh, move around to the back. Not a lot in the back, but the paint and the detail on the back piece looks really, really good. Now, I started here first because I wanted to put a little bit more emphasis on the head. Uh, the, first and foremost, the hair is amazing looking. The amount of detail looks great. Well, well done job when it comes to that. But here's the thing. It's the neck. Now, if you notice, look how much the head is actually protruding to the front. And if I look, if I bring Black Widow in and you look at it, I, now granted, Black Widow has hair and stuff like that, but this looks a little strange to me. I did notice that if you put your finger at the back of the neck, you can push this back to where it looks normal. But be it, be mindful that this head does move forward like that. So if you, if you get yours out of the box and you see that, don't freak out. Just put your finger at the back of the neck and push back and it goes back to where it looks normal. So... But the head sculpt looks really, really good. The detail, it's its really nice. Um, again, as far as articulation goes, oh, looky there. Her shoulders weren't froze like Black Widow's was. <laughs> so that's great. Good range of motion. Uh, elbow, single joint, looks great. Normal, nothing there. Uh, head rotation, side to side, front and back, plenty. whole lot more than... Uh, Black Widow had, but that's because there's no, nothing to obstruct it. Uh, move on down to the torso. We have a torso pivot and a little bit of a torso flex front to back. Not a lot. I actually think Black Widow had a little bit more. Uh, as far as articulation in the hips, very good. Now, if you notice, compared to Black Widow, her thigh straps for her holster uh, or her whatever the yeah holsters and she's were not attached, which made a big difference. If you look here, when you go out, the actual holster moves up and down. Why they did not do this with this figure, I do not know. But this uh, part that moves is a very nice touch. So Hasbro, why did you not do it with uh, this figure here? But overall, it still looks good. Again, if you notice, when you move the hips out, the holster belt goes way up, and that's just because this is actually physically attached. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we do have three knives, it looks like, right here. Um, I wish the knife handles had been a different color or something because you can see they sort of get lost with all this black right here. As far as knees go, we should have double jointed. Yes, we do right there. So that's very good there. We do have a thigh rotation, but if you notice when you rotate the thigh, this comes around because it's fixed. Again, this is, uh, in my opinion, sort of a no-no compared to uh, Black Widow, because if you rotate the thigh with this one, see the actual sheath and holster stays where it should be. So Hasbro, you should have uh, should have made this loose. That would have made it for a little bit more of a realistically looking uh, pose. But overall, the figure looks really, really good. Um, 
She comes with a one fisted hand and a trigger hand on this finger. The accessory wise on this particular figure is not a lot. We have a pair of pistols, which these pistols are pretty much the same as what Black Widow has. But I asked myself the question, why two of them? Because she only has one holster right here. Let me see if I can get this pistol in there. So I'm a little confused on why there's a pair of pistols because you only have one holster. So I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's an extra in case you lose one, but and that's what I'd probably recommend. You know, if you don't want to uh, use both of them, make sure and tag it. But as, as you can see, it, the, pit, the hand holds it really, really good. The finger index as well. But yeah, I don't get it. It would have made more sense to me to have one pistol and maybe some knives, an extra knife would have, would have made more sense to me. But anyway, there is Yelena right there. She looks good. I'm, I'm very happy with the figure. I, I dig it a lot. As far as the build of figure, oh, let me, before I move on, it does actually come with an extra pair of hands. It comes with a left trigger finger and it also comes with a right fisted so that's cool i do like that because of the fact that you could put the extra pistol in this hand but again i'm just a little confused with the pistoling so but the figure itself looks really really good and i'm very very pleased with it uh, as far as the build of figures this figure I, has like literally a chunk of build of figure pieces uh, first and foremost, we have the uh, torso. Uh, looks really, really good. The detail, the weathering. I mean, this is going to be a good looking build a figure for sure. I'm super excited for this. We have this piece here, which to be honest with you, I'm assuming goes here. But again, I'm not going to worry about putting things together until we get all the pieces together. And then we also have these pieces, um, which I'm thinking these are going to be uh, shoulder shoulder pieces. Let me look at the box real quick just to make sure. I haven't actually paid a lot of attention to the actual build a figure, but yes, those are actual shoulder pieces. Which, considering this one figure had so many of the build a figure pieces in it, um, I mean, this is a big chunk of the build a figure right here, but. Anyway, guys, there is Yelena. Looks good. I dig it. I'm happy I got it. And uh, I need to really figure out what that is. If, you're, if your Yelena has this on it, let me know in the comment. Because <laughs> I've never seen a figure, even Black Widow. Oh, Black Widow's got it as well, right there. I'll be darned. I've never noticed it. So now I'm going to have to start looking at all my Marvel Legends because is this something I've never noticed before? But anyway, guys, I tell you what, let me uh, switch things back around and I'll give you my final thoughts and we'll uh, go on from there. All right, everybody. So uh, Black Widow and Yelena right here. Boom. I dig them. They're good looking figures. They're actually some some of the, the better looking uh, Legends figures that I've seen in a while. I, I like them. The, char the characters, I don't know a lot about this character, but I think they really hit it uh, between the two. The Black Widow, I think overall is the better of the two figures. And the only thing that really separates it for me is the holsters right here, the thighs that are movable. That's a big win, and I just, I think that's cool. And when I come over here to Yelena, they're fixed. I don't get it. Um, and the only other thing is be mindful of the actual head. Uh, it rotates forward, so if it comes out of the box and it's like that, don't sweat it, just boom, pull it back. She'll look normal. But uh, overall, great figures. I'm glad I got them. Uh, the Build-A-Figure pieces look great. I cannot wait to get to the uh, get to that part of it, but uh, yeah, I think it's an exciting wave. Uh, if you if you're not into this particular uh, movie or these characters, 
they're all they all look great and as we proceed with this little series we'll talk more and more about them but that's it for part one of black widow wave uh definitely let me know in the comments what you think about the wave let me know what you think about these two figures number one if you have them and your thoughts between the two but guys that's it uh, i really hope you enjoyed it definitely like i said in the beginning of the video if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do and make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I drop videos. But also let me know in the comments what you think about this particular series. It is longer videos. That's because I want to try to do each figure justice. And I did not want to do individual videos. I sort of want to do side by sides like this. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Um, like I said, just let me know, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Always remember, toys refresh your soul, and I'll see you in part two.